Yo, I'm outside. Outside the White Hart? Yeah. Lovely. Oi, pay for all this. Oh, 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 Nuts, mate, on your good, drone. It? Yeah, I know, I've got a good shot of it. It's crazy, mate. Yeah. Man. Sweet. All right, cheers. Catch you later, mate. Yeah, chains come off. Yeah, the you doing some YouTubing? Or yeah, that's it. Yeah, uh, come off did or you anything? Get it on film? Yeah, yeah, okay. I think so. Yeah. Right, yeah. Like nice you know. one. Thanks, man. Cheers. Oh, what a lovely guy. So yeah, I've just obviously had my first mishap with the bike. Um, chains come off. I'm not really sure why. It was it was a bit loose. Um, but it wasn't overly loose. I walked the bike back. And... Look, I'm actually going to leave my GoPro and helmet there. It's all for the shot. Well, that was my fault, really, for not doing the chain tension a bit sooner. Luckily, I wasn't actually too far away from home. I mean, it's still a heavy thing to push back. <sighs> probably about, I don't know, probably about a mile from home maybe so time to get it back home take the crankcase off try and get the chain back on and then uh tension that chain properly it'll be the first time i've ever done it so hopefully i can do it right <laughs> first time for everything eh? valuable lesson was learned today doesn't really matter even if you think your chain's just a little bit loose tighten it up because I, I didn't think it was that loose honestly um, and then today just yeah just randomly happened to me chain came off so definitely lesson to be learned for the future right down the time has come hey. the time has come to fix the back. I'm hoping that I just have to take this one off. So we'll give it a go, I guess. Yeah, I might need a different tool because I can't get the leverage. God knows if I've got the right thing in this super old socket set that I've got, but. ended up disconnecting the gear lever from here so I could get to this bolt here and now I can see that inside that's where the sprocket is that I need to get to so I didn't actually have to take any of these bolts off but I can't get this off now um, I've loosened this sick all right I've got it on I've got it on the sprocket there. See that, I've got it on the sprocket again and it's spinning. Weight off the back and then spin this wheel. There we go. We're on. We're back on. 
but you can see how loose that that chain is although it's all back on the sprocket and everything I think it's just gonna happen again so now I can put this all back together and then I'll just literally just take tension the chain straight up there I'm gonna watch a quick YouTube video because I don't really have a clue what I'm doing. Um, but I think what I've got to do is loosen off that and that side and then fiddle around with these things. And then hopefully the chain will be tight. Woohoo! I've just watched a YouTube video from a guy called Paul Wright. Looking at my chain as well, it's a bit rusty, so I'm probably gonna do this and then nip off the Halfords quickly, get some uh, chain wax or chain grease or whatever he said roughly you want about two fingers of travel in the chain so from here it's got about four fingers so i definitely need to tighten that chain up probably just go out for a little ride in a little minute so take the van down to Halfords get some chain wax and then hopefully we can go out for a little ride and just test everything's all right see if there's any wobbles or anything like that I think the chain tension's fine now lubricates chains I think that will do that's what I'm gonna go for the Halford spray grease everyone in Halfords is always so happy Look, empty car park. And she parks there. It's like you're in a pub, a fully empty pub, and someone just sits on the chair next to you. That's what that is like. Again, like, go watch Paul, whatever his name, Paul Wright's video about this. He puts a bit of cardboard just here so he can grease up the chain without getting any grease on the brakes. accomplished I think well thank you very much for watching hope you learned something on this video I certainly did um, you know keep on top of your chain tension keep on top of maintenance up on your bike and hopefully that sort of thing won't happen to you um, I was lucky to be like not too far away from home when I got stranded and I walked it back researched what I had to do and then I could do it so it's not something that people can't do but yeah just just keep on top of it and you won't have to do it um, so yeah as always leave a like comment subscribe if you want to see more stuff about the bike obviously let me know peace see you later thank you very much cheers bye